What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there crushing it on the tables. Back on the cash games. Had a long session last night while I was editing videos. Maybe not the best idea. Maybe I wasn't giving full attention to poker. But here's the result. Down 57 bucks overall, but managed to get a positive win rate and plus EV throughout. But I lost some big hands on the big tables, and that is why it is a negative bottom line. Let's get into some of the hands. This video is being produced on Hold'em Manager, which I use to review all of my poker sessions and improve my game off the table. The link for Hold'em Manager is down in the video description. I do all of my poker playing on America's Card Room. That link is also down in the video description. Biggest hand of the night came with this. We have pocket jacks on the button. Sitting at the 100 NL table, we get an open raise from the middle position player, Hoodie Suda, Hoodie Suda, something like that. And I three bet on the button. The cutoff also calls. I make it $12 to go. Folds around to the middle position player who makes the call and the cutoff gets out of the way. Flop is ace high. We hit middle set. There's two diamonds on the board. We have a backdoor flush draw. There's 28.50 in the pot. This player has 93 behind him. We have 92. Pretty deep stacked. I bet 15 on the flop, right about half pot. Don't want to let a cheap flush or straight draw get there. And the middle position player makes a call. There's now 58.50 in the pot. And I think this player is probably going to call down with any hand that he has including flush draws aces maybe they have a pocket seven so i bet 27 a little bit larger than half pot on the turn that leaves 50 behind to get in on the river of over a hundred dollars after this player calls and this player jams all in and i call with the set of jacks see that we're up against ace three and we need to avoid an ace on the river and we do and pick up a pot of over 200 dollars. that was a big one add into the bankroll but a lot of bad hands came at the 100 NL table too. That was the only good one I think of the night. Here's one of the painfully awful hands at the 100 NL that I had last night. We have pocket sevens and we have a loose player who is pretty recreational number so far. Only 107 hands on this player. Opens from under the gun to 3x and I just call with pocket sevens and the big blind calls as well. We see a flop of seven high. We have top set but there are three clubs on the board. The under the gun player bets two thirds of the pot on the flop. I just call here with the set of sevens and we see a queen on the turn. Now the player bets $16, which is more than two thirds of the pot. And right here, I thought there is a good chance that this player has the flush already or has a queen with the ace of clubs. I didn't think nine ten suited was going to be in the opening range from under the gun, but we got to look at the, this type of player and this is not the normal regular player. So I didn't think that there were that many flushes in this player's range. So I do call and the river is an ace and this player jams all in it is 75 bucks for me to call into a pot of almost 130 and i'm not too disappointed with my call here i really thought about it and i thought about folding it but i thought that there could be a lot of ace queens in this player's range i thought there's a good possibility this player missed the flush and is now trying to represent it so i could not get rid of the set of sevens and i do make the call and see that we were up against a flop flush that one's just kind of a cooler you're gonna run into those once in a while i wanted to get in a pot against a recreational player and i flop a set and anytime you really flop a set against a recreational player you're gonna try to get it all in and once in a while they're gonna have a big hand including flop flushes and i had a lot of outs you know with the turn and river to pair the board missed them wound up losing a big pot not much you can do about it now we're at the 10 nl table we have pocket jacks in the big blind the hijack seat limps the button limps and we raise to 6x the hijack seat calls and the button calls three of us see the flop and we wind up flopping a full house there are two aces and two spades on the board i'm not really too worried about any hands improving here and would rather check back and let these players either bluff or bet into this board trying to represent something the hijack player bets 58 cents and the button calls and i just call here the flush gets there on the turn there's now 359 in the pot both these players have smaller stacks than we do and are pot committed right now. I bet two thirds of the pot right here and the under the gun player jams all in 
and the button calls. I think that there's going to be a flush and probably an ace here, or maybe they both have aces. And I think we're going to be good here a lot of the time. There's going to be one ace jack out there. Chances are slim that we see an ace five, but we do see an ace five. So I make the call and saw that this player has an ace five for a higher full house than us. And we wind up losing a big pot right there. Another cooler this player got there on the turn. Everyone's hitting their draws except for us, you guys. Now we're back to the 100 NL table. We have an open raise to 4x from middle position. We don't have a lot of info on this player, only 37 hands. He has raised 37% of those hands pre-flop and his VPIP is 66%. So this is a fairly loose player and has very, very low fold numbers post-flop. Why a flopping middle set with the pocket sevens? There, again, there are three clubs on the board. And with this player's wide range, there is the chance that this player is playing clubs. I check back, his highest bet percentage is on the flop and he bets $5. I raise here in case he does have the king of clubs, queen of clubs. I don't want to let him get there for cheap. And we're trying to build a pot for later in the hand if the board were to pair. Then we could get it all in. And this player calls. The turn is our money card. We now have a full house, sevens over threes. I bet a little bit less than half pot, trying to induce a call from a flush draw and still make it large enough in the pot that we can get it all in on the river. This player makes a call. He now is 47 behind him into a pot of 76. I don't see many hands folding here so I jam all in and see that we were up against a huge hand from a player who has kind of fishy numbers and we just got cooler it again you guys just a little set over set on the flop full house over full house on the river showdown not much you can do about that one again I think we played it correctly and we got to keep making power moves like this and getting in big pots with big hands against fish now we're at the 25 NL table we get an open raise to 50 cents 2x from the cutoff player we have pocket jacks in the small blind i three bet to 3.5x his open raise and this player makes a call flop is rainbow two nines i lead out for half pot i see that this player doesn't have a very high fold percentage on the flop or turn and this player jams all in i see that this player has won 33 percent of flop three bets not a very high number i could see anything jamming here from a nine that connected i didn't think that there was going to be a lot of nines in his range because of my three bet pre-flop but with this 42 vpip you cannot discount a lot of the nine hands a lot of the nine connectors didn't think a nine eight offsuit was going to be in there maybe a nine eight of hearts or any suit for that matter but i thought any pair higher than fives as well as any five out there could be making this play from this player i thought a nine would try to rope us along and, and get our money throughout the hand so i decided to make the call see that he has trip nines on the flop we are drawing pretty hard we need a jack and we hit a jack on the turn sometimes we draw out on people too it goes both ways that is that one right there in the graph way negative ev way plus net one i swear that never happens now we're at the 25 nl table we have ace queen suited we get a limp from under the gun plus one middle position limps as well keemster what's up buddy and we get an isolation bet from the player to our right in the cutoff to 5x and i call with ace queen suited on the button hopefully get in a pot with knight 77 who has pretty fishy numbers under the gun we're gonna be in a big pot here if these players all call and we're gonna be in position against them we do see a four-way flop there is 535 in the pot and we have a royal flush draw to a 10 we have the nut flush draw we have the nut straight draw to a 10 so there is a ton of outs here we have a pretty strong hand 535 in the pot the isolating player to our right bets 325 I just make a call here again I'm trying to get some more people in the pot here and build up a larger pot I guess there's really no reason to because they are pretty much all pot committed right now but we get a jam from the under the gun player and it is 918 for me to call into a pot of 2728 you can see that we were 44% so we're getting you know almost three to one on our money right here with the call when we're only less than 50% to hit here 
I think even if this player has a set, it's still break even or maybe even a little bit better than break even to make the call here. So I do make the call. See that we're up against top two pair. We have outs to a 10 or any spade. And the 10 of spades, of course, gives us the royal flush. And we hit a 10 on the turn. We just have to avoid a king or a jack on the river. And we hit a spade and improve to the nuts and take down a pot of 33.46. You guys want to see me lose with aces? Here we go. We have aces under the gun. We are at a 100 NL short table, 50 big blind max buy-in. So 50 bucks is the max buy-in, which is exactly what we have. I open raise under the gun with the aces to 3x, and we get a call from the middle position player, and we get a call from the cutoff, and see a three-way flop. There is 1050 in the pot, we have 47 behind us. Very draw heavy board here. I bet two thirds of the pot on the flop, and we get a call from the middle position, and a call from the cutoff player. We have 4035 behind us, we're pot committed. The queen hits some of the hands out there, and now the board is even more draw heavy. I bet 16, I probably could have bet more, but I was going to try to rope these players along you can see we got pretty fishy numbers over here and not a lot of info on this player I didn't want to make it too expensive for any flushes to fold here you know we have blockers with the ace of hearts and the ace of spades so the nut flush draws aren't going to be out there I thought there was a good chance we would see maybe a queen jack suited who hit the queen here and would be chasing a jack draw as well I didn't think we would run into that hand or that hand necessarily but I guess they can make that call if it were king queen or king jack of spades I could see that coming along on the flop but they both called with straight draws and overcards, and this player hit the straight on the turn, and he just calls, they both just call here, and the river's a queen. All the draws miss though. I'm pretty much just gonna check call here and try to bluff induce a missed draw that could be out there, and this player jams all in. We get a call from the cutoff player as well. Actually, a, a rejam from the cutoff player. It's 24 for us to call a pot of effectively $127. We're getting better than five to one. We only have to be ahead like 19% of hands here. I know our chances are pretty slim, but we are up against a pretty fishy player here who could be calling, you know, maybe ace 10 or a 10 or who knows what this player is calling with. I'm more worried about this player jamming all in in that spot i see i thought there could be a queen in this player's range but i'm getting such great odds that i found it incredibly hard to fold here and i do make the call see that we lost to both hands unfortunately and i think this one could have been a mistake maybe i should have bet more throughout the hand maybe i just got drawn out on maybe i played it perfect who knows all i know is that i lost the hand and lost my entire stack and got felted let me know what you guys think about this hand down in the comment section below Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet. Thanks to all the new subscribers. This channel is growing so quick. Thank you guys for subscribing and commenting and following along on the videos and on the bankroll challenge. Current bankroll is 2,096 and 14 cents. Took a little bit of a hit with this losing session, but still over 2,000. Still a plus win rate. Just gotta keep this train rolling. Hit that like button if you guys enjoy this video and the content on this channel. Be back with a new video very soon, but until then, I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.